Yo, this is Eternal Plays, Breath of Fire. Do you remember a while ago when we did this dragon test to become stronger and give Ryu some actual cool powers? Well, those powers are kind of diminished a bit now. They're kind of getting a bit weak. Almost like my order attacks are being stronger. Well, that is about to be sold as we're going to head into our second dragon test. So, we go inside the building here. Same thing as the past one. It's just a single dragon building. Look how small dragon building. We're gonna go around here. No problem to go around this place. And you go inside the building and... Everything just seems much larger. Very much larger. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's just how they... Can't really do much about aesthetics, I guess. So you go forward to the old guy. You need proper training to break the seal. And of course, you'll have to go on your own. And as always, there'll be a chest on the right side. There'll be a spring on the left side. To clean up for your health, so you'll be fully ready to go. Now again, this will be a single uh, combat versus combat against a certain individual. So, it is recommended to put on your single target equipment. So I'll use the dragon sword. And then we'll be ready to go. And now it's time to take the second dragon test, and if we fulfill this this uh, task, then you will get more powers, stronger dragon forms, and real will become much more powerful in battle, that is for sure. So I'll just go forward, talk to this uh, ghost of a, I don't know, dragon? Dragon Kish? I don't know, whatever it is. And then initiate the battle test that you have to do. You'll have completed this step, if you can survive this test. Here is your opponent. One is called Bane, which is like a uh, like a phoenix bird, but it's blue instead of red, so it's like a cryo phoenix, perhaps like a cold phoenix bird. I don't know. Anyways, so here we're gonna have to fight this uh, this boss here. Not really much to do. Just go on your thunder dragon form and just order attack. Use more ones, of course, if you feel like necessary. Doesn't hit too hard either, so. It's about 13. Your attack hits about the same. It's kind of up to you. You can use more ones to chunk off more of his health if you need to, or just uh, just give him normal attacks. Like if he's more one now, he'll slam me. I'll slam him. We have not much more to, to do about it. You can just keep on using more ones, use some recovery items. I mean, this battle shouldn't be hard. Just heal when you're about 50 health, because this guy only has a single attack same way you do. And of course this guy does not have a second win, so once you take over his health bar, he's out. So of course now I'm just gonna use a uh, single cure. Now back to full, I can just uh, finish him off with regular attacks. So it's, it's a pretty easy battle, just go to dragon form from your first dragon test. And I'll issue attacks, heal if needed, and just finish him off. He has no second win, so when I use my next attack now, he will vanish. Like this. Boom! Get some XP, that wasn't so much. But okay, that's the not important thing here. <laughs> Congratulations! Your training is complete. And Ryu gets more dragon powers. Oh yeah! Use your powers to restore peace to the world. Oh, you bet we will do. Now let's check it out what we got. We got four new dragon forms. We got the ice dragon, the fire dragon, the bolt dragon, and the best one easily now, gold dragon. We see the cost though, it's pretty expensive. So if Ryu should be going dragon form and have to revert or, or get taken out and you need to revive him, we see that he's only being able to use it twice, so you might have to be careful here in terms of uh, his AP. This should be fine though. I mean, haven't we really been having a trouble, so... Congratulations on your achievement! Use your powers wisely! So we go out to the Dragon Shrine, we reunite with our friends, and that is of the second Dragon Shrine. Now there are of course more shrines to come, but we'll get to those later in the game. So now it's time to actually go back to our storyline thing, but I'm gonna do a little trick here. 
because we're gonna go to Grandma now to go into uh, Mogu's stream so we can help him out. Before I do that, I'm actually gonna go to Arad. Now you might be wondering why they wanna go to Arad. It's actually a trick I usually always do. The thing with Arad is that the inn inside of Arad is free. So if you speak to the innkeeper here, you can rest for free. That's pretty nice. Then I just go and I take another warp, and now, of course, not inside the building, of course, you can't do that inside buildings. Then let's warp. Of course, I can't even do it in a town. I keep forgetting these simple things. There we go. We are outside now on the world map. Now we can warp to Gramor. Let's do that. One thing, a very important thing. I do have a good amount of them, but if you don't have a good amount of them, make sure you buy Marble 3, because it's gonna be actually a little kind of a big dungeon inside Mogus Dream. So make sure you have Marble 3s, because some of the enemies you might fight later in the dream can actually be a bit tough. There's no shops, there's no inns, there's no way out of the dream until you complete your objectives inside of it. So make sure you are fully ready for what you're going to do. Wrong place. His entrance is at the entrance of the whole thing here. This one. Here we go. Please help my brother. The bastard will allow me to enter Mogus' dream. Are you ready? We are ready, so let's go. Go! May success be yours! Use the bolster and everything changes. There we go. Who are you? Where you come from? Do you have a bolster? We can't get rid of the spellcasting monster. The monster is in a no tower. Please rescue Mogu. Do you have a bolster? We got rid of the spellcasting monster. Yeah, we do. So now you look like you're in some town, but this is actually a dream. I'm Mogus Anger. I can't help you because anger can't solve any problems. That is so true and a real life lesson as well. I'm Mogus Reason. Mogus will be a whole only when we are all united. I'm Mogus Humor. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> That's good. I'm Mogus Fair. I want to destroy the monster, but I'm afraid. A lot of real life things that you can save here. There is an inn actually here, but I don't think there's a shop. So you can rest in here if you need to, but there's no other way to recover. I'm Mogus Sorrow. The absence of courage has separated all of us. Okay, so apparently you need to get all the emotions of Mogu to be in the town or whatever you want to call this place is. If you manage to do that, then uh, Mogu might perhaps wake up and uh, be able to help us out. So, once you've been talking to all of these uh, emotions of Mogu here in this sort of call, I don't know, Mogu's town perhaps, then uh, it's just to go up the ladder here in the north and we're getting out. Kind of a world map place, but yeah. So, the thing only to do here is to basically go to the right and go upwards. I like how there's monsters we fought before in this dream as well. They're like, uh, I don't know, everywhere. Let's put an auto. I should probably switch out blue for our, uh, for regular enemies though, because... She's pretty good though, but just for auto, she is very weak. I need to really cast spell spells with her in order to make her be good. At least Karn does the world job well. Go up to level 19, that's good. Let's head up north, and we'll be reaching this place here. A tower. One of these enemies. Let us see the real... Actually, let's see the power of one of the dragons. Let's try the ice dragon now. Nina will just attack, we can cast some spells with... Uh, low. 
Which one should we take? Yeah, Chill is enemy group, Blue Lightning Storm enemy group as well. Let's just go with Chill. Is this the Ice Dragon? Oh, look at that, baby! Ooh, man. Blizzard. It's for 100 on each. Deflect. Oh yeah, that's a cool thing as well. The new dragon forms attacks all targets. That's at least what the ice dragon does. That's a cool thing. Some more attacks, and look at this. Pretty good. Maybe we can attack, but at least it hits all targets. So, if to proceed here, you need to go inside this tower in here. And this place is quite scary. Because there are a lot of narrow f uh, paths in here, but they all disappear when you enter these very strange circles on the ground. So, when you step on one, you will get to go, and then it disappears. And of course, the enemies here too. Like these ones. These ones are casters, so beware. So to go with the regular attacks, let's just go with uh, chill and attack with car. See how much they hit, and they have the shock as well. See how dangerous they are? Very dangerous. They are in fact quite, quite nasty. Just put a renew on someone. Let's do another spell if we survive. And Karn should be having more than health to take it up though. Oh, that's a good Ryu. Oh, that's a slap. So, you know, maybe understand why I suggest you guys to get Marble 3s. Yeah, because enemies that cast Shock is something that you want to avoid. Shock and one hit KO you, so don't do that. Just cure up the other ones. And let's get the Marvel 3 gold. There we go. Let's explore more of this place, because this place is very, very weird. You know what's gonna happen? Yeah, you just push on that uh, circle thing, and you will uh, get some really nasty thing going on. See the boy on the left side? That's where we're actually going to go, so let's do that first. Another switch here. One thing I should do is to hold in a button so I can need to know where we're going, but... And this is one of the places I'll probably suggest to use some maps, because it can be a bit hard to go through. I'm not even sure where I am right now. I entered the wrong kind of circle, so I might be stuck here. Boy, I should really have gotten some sort of a map. I keep finding these blue circles as well, that's not the ones I want. There's the boy again, so I might be in a bit of a wrong place right now. Oh well. Let's see, let's just keep using marble threes. Three. And if some people might be wondering, yes, this I am recording uh, comment commentary as I'm doing this let's play, so this is not a, a pre post recorded commentary, this is commentary recorded live as I'm doing this. I think that's much better, much more exciting. If you guys really want to post commentary, let me know in the comments below at least, so uh, I can be ready for it at least. That would be kind of a nice thing. This place is really, really tough. So I'm getting almost a bit stuck here. Uh, it's just more about that you can't really see where you're going because the walls are all gone, so you have to be a bit of a... Uh, either way, you have to go on and find out where you actually are going. So. Uh, should be fine though. You need to need to think a bit.
Oh, there we go. As long as Mogus senses are scattered, you won't have a chance against me. Do you want to fight? No. Run, coward. <laughs> okay, so, you see the guy over there? That is Moat. He's one of the evil uh, people who are supporting Jade. So it's quite of a nauseating person, or should we say, kind of a guy. It's uh, quite... Quite a pain. But don't worry though. We have to engage him in a fight. But I won't be doing that this episode. We'll be doing on the next episode. So next episode, we're gonna fight this kid or whatever it is. We're gonna fight him and we're going to see if we can rescue Mogu. So stay tuned for next episode. We're gonna fight Moat and hopefully end Mogu's nightmares. If you have any feedback on my Let's Play or want to discuss this game, then leave a comment below this video. And of course, as I said earlier as well, if you feel like you don't want to have post-commentary or live commentary, let me know as well. That would be very nice. If you want to be notified when I put more parts and other stuff on my channel, then hit the subscribe button and you will be getting notifications. But I just want to say uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.